Lent. Let's do this. What's up everyone? Happy Ash Wednesday. Welcome back. Today is the first day of the 2020 Lenten season and I am so amped up. I never feel truly prepared for this season, but I'm always really excited for it regardless. And so, you know, maybe you're feeling the same way. So let's just, let's just like dive into what this is. Every year, the first gospel of the first Sunday of every Lenten season begins with the gospel of Matthew chapter four, where we are told that the spirit leads Jesus into the desert to be tempted. What the heck? Jesus goes into the desert to be tempted on purpose because in order for him to truly take on the role of the Messiah, he needs to renounce Satan. He needs to renounce the things of this earth so that he can make way for his father, God, to manifest his will in his life. And basically it's kind of just a time of preparation for what's to come. It's passion, death, and resurrection. So for us, the Lenten season is incredibly important because it is an invitation for us to go into the desert with Jesus so that we too can renounce Satan, so that we too can renounce the things in our lives that have taken hold of us, that we have become slave to, so that we also can make room for God in our own lives, within ourselves, for him to manifest his will for us period, where we fast, we abstain, so that we can reorder our desires, we can reorder, reorient our entire lives back towards God so that he can take that role in our lives um, and he can replace the things that have grabbed a hold of us so that one day, after our death, we too can be risen people. So I'm gonna move into a few things that you might wanna consider to take up uh, or fast from this Lenten season to help you do that, to help you reorient yourself. So um, here we go. Social media, your phone, texting, using emojis, salty snacks, sweet snacks, snacking in general, cracking your neck, cracking your fingers, cracking your toes, cracking your knees, cracking your back. Ah, making out, kissing, dating in general, dating apps, just for 40 days, that's really not that bad. Littering, spitting your gum out on the street, spitting in general complaining, wishing bad on somebody else's life, wishing you had somebody else's life, only talking to Jesus when you feel like it, only talking to Jesus when you want to ask for something, pride, wearing immodest clothing or clothing that reveals too much, being selfish, gossiping, cussing or using God or Jesus's name in vain, lying, watching porn, wearing makeup, doing your hair, road rage, and bad driving. Maybe give up one of your favorite TV shows. Maybe give up all of your TV shows. Maybe give up TV in general. When I say TV, I mean streaming because let's be real, that's, that's mostly what we do. So, unless you have cable, then maybe give up your cable. YouTube, except for this vlog. Being judgmental, bad jokes, trolling online, being sarcastic, being mean, gluten, dairy. Maybe consider going vegan for 40 days. Not smiling. I need to work on that one actually. Overly apologizing or saying I'm sorry when you really actually don't need to. And then there's also not apologizing when you need to. Not going to confession because it's scary. Getting your nails done. I could do that actually. Drinking more than one cup of coffee. Energy drinks, soda, anything that's not water. Not wearing spiritual items or clothing because you're afraid of what other people would think. Opening the fridge when you just ate. Negative self-talk. Leaving the lights on. Come on, that costs money. Your pillow, your bed. Snoozing your alarm in the morning. Okay, let's be real. Snoozing your alarm more than once in the morning. Pretending like you're not religious or Catholic. Perfume, wearing your contacts and wearing your glasses instead. So here are a few things that you can consider picking up this Lent. Going to daily mass, praying the rosary, praying the liturgy of the hours, praying the liturgy of the hours or the rosary with a friend, praying with your family, praying with a different family member every day, writing letters of affirmation, writing letters of affirmation to yourself, writing to Jesus, praying more seriously about your vocation, flossing, washing the dishes after you eat, cooking instead of going out to eat, not spending money on things that you don't need, and instead giving that money at the collection at mass on Sunday, making your bed, waking up early to pray, staying up later to pray, not listening to music in the car, and then using that time to pray instead, running, 
working out, only listening to Christian music, going to adoration more consistently, doing a holy half hour every day, doing a holy hour every day, being more open about talking about your faith, helping out at mass, helping out at your parish, helping out on a retreat, helping in general, buying and reading new spiritual books, reading scripture more often, inviting a friend to confession every time, calling instead of texting, praying the chaplet of divine mercy, learning about new saints, sharing more about who you are with the people that you love, driving better, investing in learning more about one specific teaching of the church for 40 days, doing things you wouldn't normally do and going outside of your comfort zone, doing the sign of the cross every time you pass an accident on the highway or a church, praying before meals, praying before snacks, praying, getting a spiritual director. For every time that you negative self-talk, give yourself three compliments. That's it, that's all I've got, even though there's tons and tons and tons of more things that you could possibly do this month, but hopefully that sparked some sort of inspiration in you. Know that I hope you guys have a very fruitful Lent, a very intentional Lent, and that if you mess up, it is okay. Get right back up, go to confession and fortify through, because at the end of this season, all that matters is that you have grown in awareness, um, and that change has been made, room has been made, so that God can work more fully in your life, so that your desires have been reordered towards Him, um, and that you just grow more in love with him in your relationship. Hope you guys have a great, great rest of your day. I will see you very, very soon. Thanks for hanging out, praying for you. Say a prayer for me, and I will talk to you next week. Bye!